hey guys what's up it's Tina I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our campsite we are camping at Jenny Springs in High Springs Florida um, we had so much stuff packed in the vehicle you have no idea um, but we're pretty much done setting up so I just wanted to do a quick rundown in the daytime and this is day one we literally just finished setting up the campsite so first things first I have this canopy here I believe this is Ozark Trail it was from Walmart I bought this in May of 2019 it was on clearance or rollback as they say for $40 uh, so I did get that this um, we don't actually have a super huge purpose for yet I believe in the daytime these chairs will go underneath there when it's nice and hot and sunny uh, to give us shade and if it rains that's gonna be super convenient to have we don't have rain forecast which is great but just in case we have a shelter all right my car next we have the tent this is the big daddy from Sam's Club this is the members mark I believe it is the eight man tent don't quote me on this. I'll try to link it down below if I can remember um, because it is available now. This is a, a very nice tent. This went up so easy, you guys. It, it was literally up in about three to four minutes and this was the first time we've ever set it up. Uh, minus the staking, as you can see, there's ropes there staking. Anyway, it, uh, it goes up kind of like an umbrella. So you push, uh, you kind of pull the poles back and it clicks into action. I'll show you a little more inside. Um, and it, it literally kind of feel, it felt like an umbrella putting it up is what it felt like instead of like the tr tr traditional like temp poles. So as you can see, it also has an awning here. All right, I do need to get a rug. Um, we don't, this is our first time using the tent. So I didn't have, you know, an idea of what kind of accessories and stuff we needed. It's actually our first time actually putting it up. We just bought it last night. So um, it has an awning here. <coughs> it's very tall inside too. A nice screen room area. So let me just go ahead and unzip this. See if I can get it with one hand. Sorry about the... Okay. All right, that should do it. I'm gonna crawl in here. All right. So, as you can see, very, very spacious. This is an Intex uh, queen size mattress. This is, I think, 18 inches off the ground. I'll give you guys a little peek at it. Yeah, you can see about how tall it is there. I wanted it tall because I don't know uh, for you avid campers, if you've ever camped in the rain and rain gets in your tent, it is a nightmare and sleeping in puddles of water is not a good look. Plus this gives us some extra, um, uh, you know, um, like assurance in case it leaks air a little bit. There's a lot of air in there, um, you know, throughout the night, you know what I mean. Um, I just brought this blanket and pillow set from home. This is actually from my bed. Um, not something I really care about too much, but it is supposed to get down to the 60s tonight, even though it's about 90 right now. Um, so just wanna make sure we were nice and warm. Up here, I have a fan slash light combo. Both of these uh, turn on here you can turn on the light and fan or both one or the other whatever you want um, and there we go that'll be nice for night. and this puts out a pretty good amount of air guys uh, definitely pretty good amount of air so that'll be nice and convenient for us keep us nice and cool keep the air flowing in here just want to make sure that's off and that takes D batteries um, over here so this tent is lit up this tent is so lit <laughs> it really is though it takes four D batteries and it illuminates at night which is why I'm going to do uh, in, in, with this video I'm actually gonna film everything at night as well as in the daytime so you guys can see it all lit up um, I don't know exactly where the lights are I can't really tell from in here but I guess we'll see when we plug it in um, yeah, anyway, it's got a bunch of windows. As you can see, it is very, very roomy in here for two people. This is really no problem. You could easily fit, you know, maybe a kid or two, I don't know. I mean, this is a queen size bed in it. So, you know, you, you make that judgment call. Um, all right, coming over here, I have this uh, three, oh my gosh, it's like already kind of bending. Okay, this is a dresser or you can use it in your kitchen or whatever you wanna do. But as you can see, I have clothes in there, I have like my, uh, you know, toiletries and uh, contact lens solution stuff in here. And then just a little bit of stuff on top, which is probably why it's a little bit wobbled. All right, this does come with tent poles, the typical tent poles that you put together. It took me about one minute to get the whole thing together. These have uh, zippers on them. So if you need to keep the bugs out, that's fine too. Um, and this was again, very cheap on Amazon. It's just something that will, you know, stay a little bit more organized. All right, coming back outside here. Again, sorry about the camera work, guys. All right, 
<laughs> not too much done with this one yet. This is the fire pit area. Um, we bought some wood on the way into Jenny Springs. There's a lot of places that sell wood, little, um, basically people's homes that they sell wood. And uh, we got a little, a bundle of like 20 pieces of wood approximately. Um, I have some Dura flame logs that I got on clearance at Sam's to get the fire started. And um, Matt went and got a piece of dead tree <laughs> out of the woods here, which, you know, at Jenny, you cannot cut down the trees. Please don't cut down the trees. Whatever you do, uh, not a good look, but this was, you know, obviously already dead and on the ground. So we're gonna try to hack that up and maybe use it for some firewood later. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? This is the piece de resistance, like seriously. <laughs> I'm working on building my dream camp kitchen and you guys can make fun of me and I don't care. Um, all right, so here we go, let's start it out. Ozark Trail uh, canopy room here. Uh, this is a 10 by 10 foot canopy room. Um, I ordered this from walmart.com. I wanna say it was around $50, all right? Next, I have these solar powered lights. These are plastic, uh, doo -doo -doo. all right. And it's just enough, I believe it was like 25 feet worth of solar powered lights. Um, and then the solar adapter is actually right there. That is my radio. You're hearing this beautiful music from, hope, uh, from. hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Um, but that is a solar powered hand crank radio. So it's an emergency radio, but I brought it out here because it needs no power and this site does not have electricity. Um, all right, let's talk about this kitchen, guys. This is the Deluxe Kitchen from Bass Pro Shop. I ordered it online this week. I just got it in. This is the first time I've set it up. I'm actually gonna turn off the music a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. I know you guys were jamming out to that deluxe tune. All right, so um, anyway, this is my kitchen. I'm super stoked, guys. I've always wanted to build like my dream camp kitchen and I'm well on my way, as you can see. <laughs> so the, the cooler down there is an igloo from Target. The rug is from Five Below, it was five bucks. And this is an indoor outdoor rug. It's like that plasticky material. Um, it's perfect for camping. So the kitchen is set up like this. It has this kind of grate over here and over here we have the bar set up. So this is our wine. Um, we do have some gin back there, some water, um, other beverages, beer and things like that are in the coolers. Uh, that cooler does have most of our food in it and a couple of drinks like I just said. We need to go buy some ice and uh, fill that up. This dish rack right here was a super cheapie from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just got that to dry our dishes. Uh, the dish set is over here. There's uh, videos on my channel, guys, if you go back a little a little ways. This is an Ozark Trails 22 or 23 piece camp and dine set. Um, it came with, not this frying pan, this I, I brought separately, but it came with a bunch of different pots and pans. And then on the inside, it has cups and uh, like flatware, and it also has four plates in it. Uh, it's three pots total and a frying pan uh, with lids. It's, it's a really nice set. Please go check out the video on my channel that I did because I do highly recommend it. I camped with it last week and it worked fine and I assume it's gonna work just as fine this time. Uh, this bin just has little miscellaneous things like our can opener, vegetable peeler, measuring cups, ketchup as you can see. I have some tomatoes up here. Um, Ziploc bags, these gloves are literally a lifesaver. I got them on Amazon. Um, it's a two pack of 100 count boxes. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was around $10. But uh, when you're cooking outside, especially handling meat and I'm doing jalapeno poppers, things like that, it's so nice not to have to get your dirty hands on the food and your food touching anything. I don't know, I just like the gloves. So um, some tin foil, and then these are two camp stoves. This is one that goes on top of a propane tank. This is for like backpackers. Um, but I brought them just to play with because we're camping and I like doing that kind of stuff. I can't get the lid off now. Um, but this attaches to the top of a propane tank, a little miniature propane tank. And this one is like a, a wood burning kind of like firebox style stove. As you can see, I'll just pull it out real quick. I'll do separate videos on these two when I get to that point of the weekend. All right, let's see if I can get them out. Anyway, very, very lightweight. Uh, this turns into a box which you can burn wood in and then put pots and pans on top of. Again, I'll do a separate video on that have the coffee maker, um, a little fuel container from the Dollar Tree, extra butane for the stove down there. And then let's get up here. Okay, all of my little utensils are from the Dollar Tree, my little ladles and spoons and tongs up here, scissors as well. This is a thermometer for my uh, oven, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, I have some scrubby pads and soap. The hose is connected to a water source, which is uh, included with our campsite. And then I have this propane, uh, or I'm sorry, butane, 
a Coleman single burner stove, which fits beautifully on the kitchen. Um, my little spice rack from the Dollar Tree as well. As you can see, I labeled all my spices and put them in there. Um, I'll do another video on this as well because I think this is important. I was looking for information like that uh, for a couple months and I didn't really find anything super great, so I'm going to do a video on it too. Um, coffee, uh, and again, antibacterial wipes, a lighter, all the good stuff for camping, um, some Pellegrino, you know, because we're super fancy and bougie. Uh, my good cooking knife, it's not like the greatest cooking knife, but it comes uh, self-sharpening and it comes in that case so I can travel with it easily. And this is my oven, my Coleman oven. Um, this is amazing. These have been around for generations pretty much at this point. I got a little uh, miniature, you know, six muffin pan loaf to go in there. And this will be the first time I'm using this. As you can see, it looks pretty pristine this weekend, um, but I'm gonna try it out and then I will give you guys another video and review and feedback. The last thing on the Coleman Camp Kitchen is this uh, pantry unit, which is really cute. This is like a cabinet, and as you can see, I have all of my food. Again, we just got here. It's totally full uh, for the entire weekend. Um, but everything fit in there really nicely and it collapses up really nice and it's super lightweight and it's sturdy. It, it clips over here to six places. One, two, three, and then the same on the back end. So it's nice and um, sturdy. I don't feel like it's gonna topple over or pull the kitchen down or anything like that. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna sign off for now and I will film the, set, the site again at night so you can see it all with that little intervention here. <laughs> He's the coolest dragonfly. He's been our buddy. He's he was actually talking to me earlier. Hi, bud. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're so cute. You can hang out with us. That's fine. Are you gonna eat some bugs for us? You eat you bugs are? and we'll give you whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so Matt started a fire. <laughs> he didn't want to pay for firewood, so he went and foraged a bunch of, we did not cut any of this down, just an FYI, we would never do that, but he went to the woods and just kind of foraged a bunch of wood. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it's like three and a half, four feet tall. It's hilarious. And then we have this giant tree sticking across the thing. <laughs> this is so funny. It's warm, I'll tell you that. It was so cold last night. It got down in the 60s and we were freezing. So this should keep us nice and toasty. This is the campsite at night. As you can see, it is pitch black. Well, it's getting there. It's about almost, I think 8.30 around there. I don't know, I haven't looked at the time in a while. Anyway, fire's going nicely. We have some burgers on the grill. We were trying out a couple of different things. That's one of my Ozark Trails uh, frying pans these pants and pans are probably going to be looking very loved by the end of this trip but that's okay that's what they're for um i didn't bring any cast iron but that will change next time uh we've got our lights strung over there there's a hammock that you cannot see uh, over by the road it's got the canopy there that you can't see and then here is the tent that i wanted to show you guys again this is the is it members mark or yeah members mark yes. tent from sam's club this is this is it eight man ten, ten man tent with uh, the LED lights built in, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside with the lights. Again, this took D batteries. I think it was four. We went out earlier and got some because we had bought some at Sam's and I left them at home, <laughs> which is fine. We'll we'll end up using them eventually. But here's what it looks like on the inside. Gonna unzip this real quick for you guys. Ah, sorry. Okay. I'm unzipping with my teeth. Okay. All right. So. As you can see, there is a strip of LED lighting uh, that runs in the tent. It illuminates it very nicely. We can see, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but we can see what we're doing in there. Um, I wouldn't say that, I was thinking that it was gonna be more lit up from the outside, and it's not, and that's, it's okay. Um, kinda wanted it to be, I don't know, I was thinking just because we're remote camping with no power, uh, it would light up the campsite a little bit more, but it, it's not, and that's, that's okay, that's all right. We've got our fire, we've got our lanterns going, um, yeah, so that is the campsite. Uh, the kitchen, it's a little bit too dark to film. We've been using the heck out of that kitchen. It's just going beautifully. So um, anyway, I'll film a little bit more tomorrow.